Welcome to the AeroQuip FT1380 calibration procedure. To avoid injury, caution should be exercised. The following calibration procedure should only be performed by trained service personnel. Prior to starting, make sure the machine is plugged into an appropriate power source and the power is turned on. Press the store and enter buttons simultaneously. Next, turn the power off, wait 5 seconds, then turn the power back on. Upon reboot, simultaneously press the store and enter buttons, then type in 100. This is the start of the calibration procedure. Install an M240 die cage. Next, we want to crimp a Dash 8 fitting. Upon completion of the crimp, measure all four sides of the fitting and take the four dimensions that we've measured and average them. In this case, we've measured 975 as the average. Take the last two digits of 75 and enter 075 utilizing the keypad. Next, type in 400 to proceed with the calibration of the Dash 12 fitting, also using an M240 die cage. Again, measure all four sides of the crimp. Average that dimension. In this case, our average was 1.265. We need to take the last two digits, 65, and enter 365 into the keypad. This concludes the calibration of the AeroQuip FT1380 crimp machine. Calibration verification is required prior to production crimping. First, press Enter and type in 100. Next, crimp a Dash 8 fitting, also utilizing an M240 die cage. Measure all four sides and average the dimensions. In this case, for a Dash 8 fitting, our dimension should be 1 inch plus or minus 6 thousandths. Now press Enter and type in 400. Using an M240 die cage, crimp a Dash 12 fitting. Measure all four sides and average the dimensions. In this case, for a Dash 12 fitting, our dimension should be an inch 300 plus or minus 6 thousandths. This concludes the calibration of the FT-1380 crimping machine. For additional technical support, service, or spare parts, please contact Lomar at 1-888-285-6627 or visit us at EatonCrimperSupport.com.